Mr. Tritt, Mr. Logan would like to cash some bonds. Again, Mr. Trade. Now go to your cage, get the ten thousand dollars, put it in an envelope, and this time bring it to me. the envelope with the table, continue with the bonds. Now, Mr. Tritt, if you make any signal at all before I get out of the bank, I'll put a bullet in you. Right there. Now get back to your cage. He's got it. He's got $10,000 and 20s right in that bag. Please, Mr. Tritt, don't start this again for your own sake. Snatch the bag, Lois. Snatch it. Now, really, Mr. Pinkson, if I had robbed your bank, you think I'd be standing right here in front of it like an idiot? He has a point there, Mr. Tritt. Well, he has the money, Mr. Pinkson. Mr. Logan, do you mind if we look in your bag? No, no, indeed. Not in the street. I insist. What, but Mr. Logan, it's practically zero. It's not a question of temperature, Mr. Pinkson. It's a question of honor. Mr. Logan, I beg you. It's in the snow. He's hidden at the snow. <laughs> what a shame. He was such a nice chap. Lewis, call a doctor. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Tritt. Mr. Tritt. Treated this way, Mr. Logan. Now, shall we uh, continue with the bombs? 